Hello, this is Lisa Mathena from the Lisa Mathena Group Real Estate Firm. And today we're here in Milton at Doe Bar and also representing Foxhole with Kristen and Mark, two restaurateur uh, business people in the area. And we are happy to be out here on this beautiful sunny day in one of their pods right next to the Broadkill River. Uh, it's a beautiful spot to eat inside and out. And you'll see by the photos I'll be taking as well uh, what a cool place it is. So welcome and Thank you. tell me a little bit about where you're from originally, how you made it to Milton, why the restaurant business? I'm from Pennsylvania so I was brought up there and I was in corporate America for 30 years, give 30 years give or take and you've been a lifelong Delawarean. Is that right? New me Castle. too. Not many of us around anymore. <laughs> No, not, Newcastle, so. yeah, but then you were down here when you're high school. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, um, we met up north. We were up north and, um, I was getting out of the, the, the big, big, big girl world of, you know, <laughs> I was actually in telecom. I was, oh, a, really? I was in sales and marketing and, um, my, as I call my big girl job, <laughs> my midlife crisis and That's met me. my, met That's my midlife you? crisis. <laughs> No, and we moved down here and we wanted to start, my husband always wanted to open up his own restaurant or business, businesses. We opened up a, we, a garage store company 10, 11 years really? ago. Yes. I did not know yep. that. Yep. We have a couple different businesses in town and um, we decided, he said, I always wanted to open up a garage door business and then retire in, Mil in, in the beach. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, let's go to the beach and then open, open up a restaurant or business time. That was a good idea. Yeah. And when was that? How long ago was that? 13 years ago. Wow. wow. 13 years ago. So years. since then, a lot of things have changed here. <laughs> yes. uh, a lot more people have moved in. <laughs> Someone would have told me 13 years ago I'd owned restaurants. That's the funny. That uh, they would have never. Told you were yes, crazy, I, right? would, I would have laughed. I would have laughed. <laughs> yeah. Like there's no, no way. way. <laughs> so how did you get into the restaurant business? By accident. It's been very serendipitous. This, really? It, yes. First of all, Milton is my my spot, my place, my people. Um, oh, we, we started out in Lewis and love Lewis and, um, worked from Lewis to Dewey to Long Neck to Ocean View, Ocean View. Wow. I mean, we were Bethany. Everywhere. Yeah. We had a lot of, I was, um, in the, I was in the, I was in the tele, I was in the, um, photography, world. photography industry. Yeah. And I was, you know, I would do restaurants and food and I would do, um, Family weddings portraits. and families. And so I've had a lot of great relationships and great connections with some really amazing human beings here in Delaware. And uh, we decided to uh, slum it here in Milton. <laughs> we moved from Milton here, we or moved, we moved from the 5-8 to, to the 6-8. We moved from the 5-8 to the 6-8. Ah, I did too, so, so welcome. Yeah, right? <laughs> and and we way, joke because it's so small town, but it's, I mean, I just love this little town. The traffic was really bad yeah. in the 5-8, so and then, of course, when we moved here, it was like, oh. We tell all of Lewis friends that, that we're we moved in the country. We keep slumming. <laughs> and for those who don't know, 58 is Lewis. The Lewis zip code. And Lewis 6 8 code. is the Milton zip code. And it's amazing here. So. It, it is amazing here. We only tell our Lewis friends that. So they stay in Lewis. <laughs> so it's uh, Milton is growing in leaps and bounds. Um, it was kind of the forgotten little town for years and years and years. And about eight to ten years ago it really started to blossom oh, yeah. did, yes. a, a lot of the older homes here which are very historic uh, by the way have been bought and renovated it's turned into a beautiful spot the shopping is great the restaurants are great so tell us a little bit about why you named the restaurant the dough bar and what it is that you serve here so the dough bar is anything dough related so we are open seven days a week from 7 a.m. till um, 10 p.m. 11 p.m. on the weekends and it's anything from breakfast to, you know, French toast, to pancakes, to eggs, of course, to pizza or hand-tossed pizza, which is um, very New York style, um, to pasta, to burgers, to burgers, bread, everything you think of. Everything's, you know, most of our stuff is scratch made, not our pasta yet. We're working on that. Ah, well, you should watch my video on how to make ravioli. That's another oh, little, little side effect of this uh, interview you process. Want a part-time job? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about the Foxhole, which is your other location in Milton. So Foxhole is more of a finer dining um, dinner restaurant, and it's um, very, uh, each month the menu kind of rechanges, and the chef there creates new um, new ideas, and he introduces them monthly. Um, 
We also do it's great wine and beer there. We actually have beer and wine and some have, cocktails here. Yeah, you have a full, they have a full yeah, bar, full bar both well. locations. Yeah. And um, it's just a different vibe. It's very small. It's 40 people top. And I know that at least every Thursday night, one of our uh, fellow uh, interviewees and my friend Al Frantic uh, performs there as well. So Friday, can, Friday, oh, Friday, Friday, every Friday. Apologize. No, that's okay. Every Friday, every the month Friday. of March, uh, uh, month of March, he's here every Friday. So they also have live music there. Yes. Um, so tell us how it is that you ended up in this spot here, which is a beautiful spot right on the Broadkill River. And, and this has been a secret in the making. This has been about a year, year and a yeah, half yeah. in the making. Um, the gentlemen that own it, the, um, the Cohens, the Polo Cohens that own the, the building, came to us and were, wanted us to bring our old suburban farmhouse down here. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, a beautiful spot. I just don't think a coffee shop would work on the broad kill. Right. Because you need to drive in, jump out of your car, grab your coffee, roll out. And, um, and then it was the pizzas. It was the pizzas. It was just our hand-tossed pizzas. We've been a delivery company since um, the pandemic, since COVID. And we were going to stay as a little pizzeria, and we were up on Federal Street, and the building opportunity fell through. So we thought to ourselves, you know, I wonder if Mark and um, Mark and Norm, the owner, Mark and Norm, um, I saw the building available, and wow. they were like, you know, talk about serendipity. Yes, and they were kind of like, we really do. We were waiting for we were kind waiting of you, for you guys. <laughs> and we were. I mean, because this is the most amazing building and most amazing opportunity. We even talked about trying to put the foxhole down here. That's where the foxhole name came from. Uh, gotcha. Because it was a hole in the wall. A little foxhole, a little hole in the wall. But this is so much grander. So just they all kind of perfectly played out into the positions of which they are in the, in the town. So for those of you who don't know, they're located on Federal Street, but they're really not on Federal Street. And the reason why they're referencing foxhole and that sort of thing, they are actually down a side alley to get to, to this uh, beautiful location. So just look for their dough bar sign. Yeah, we're at 109 Union Street, but you gotta come down. We're on the back end of the beautiful mercantile. Governor's Walk. Governor's Walk. So you come down past um, the front of Lisa's building of the mercantile and come to the back. We're in the actual back of the building. And so they have, it's very COVID friendly, both inside and out. And like I said, we're in a pod right now. It's very windy outside, although it is beautifully sunny. So you can come and eat in peace outside along the beautiful Broadkill River here. So tell people how they can uh, get a hold of you, your phone number, your Facebook, and all that fun stuff. So we're still seven days a week. We're breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We do delivery up to 10 miles from here. And I've been a benefit of that. <laughs> we are five bubbles that are outside. They're called, we call them the dough balls. And um, they're little, they're actually greenhouses. Really? Yes, and they're heated. As you can see, it's about 38 degrees, 40 degrees right now, you mm -hmm. think? 45 degrees. It's probably 70 degrees. It's, it's got to be 70 It feels so. great. And it's warm, and it, it's, it's, it's perfect. And you can have a perfect view. 302-386-7432 um, is our cell phone number, or our, our, our number here. And uh, you can do that for delivery, or you can call and make a reservation. The dough balls do fill up. Fast. I bet they so do. if you have an interest, you can have one anytime. You just come out, whether you're ha you're sipping your coffee or you're you know eating breakfast, dinner, dine-in, drinks, birthday parties. It's been fabulous, and more just not just because of COVID. I mean, COVID they they're safe. We we have a lot of um, sanitary sanitary sanitation products, products in place that um, we actually <laughs> sanitize these balls after everyone's in them. Uh, it's a five foot radius there. It's a blue light that we actually sanitize them. UV light. UV. And, um, but I want to use these all, uh, all winter. You know, what a fun, how, who it's else gets awesome. to have a picnic outside in the, the dead of winter on the, physically on the, on the broad kill. I could be biased, but I think I have the best view in town. I think you do too. So if you're looking for really any type of food to eat, because yeah. they have everything from breakfast, lunch, dinner, burgers, Pasta, pizza, pizza, pizza seafood, pasta, steak. steaks. This is the place to come, not just in Milton, but in Sussex County, in my opinion. Oh, thank you. So this is Lisa Mathena from the Lisa Mathena Group Real Estate Firm with Kristen and Mark of both the Dough Bar and the Foxhole. And come see we'll, us. We'll see you soon. Thank you.